All right, welcome back. Um, I just realized I was getting ready to record the video for the uh, chest and arm. I forgot the vertebral artery. I've moved my plastic piece, so I'm not gonna draw on it. But the vertebral branches off of that subclavian artery, um, and it runs up through, if you remember from our bone list, we had that transverse uh, foramen um, in our cervical vertebra. That is a little guided pathway for this vertebral artery to go up into the brain. So our internal carotids and our vertebral arteries are the two sets of arteries that feed blood supply directly to the brain. Okay, so now we're gonna be on this picture. There's gonna be a little bit of repetition from some of the blood vessels we've already seen um, and then some new ones. So again, I'm just gonna go down alphabetically. I've highlighted on my list um, what you can see on this particular diagram. Now they're showing you all of these flow charts. You don't need to know which blood vessel drains into what blood vessel. I mean, it might help as you're learning to identify them, but really all you need to do is identify them on a picture. I'm not gonna ask you to follow a path of blood or anything like that. So uh, aorta is the biggest um, blood vessel. So we have the ascending aorta, we have the aortic arch, and we have the descending aorta. So, or abdominal or aorta, thoracic aorta. You can just call them any part of that. Big blood vessel is called the aorta. That's totally fine. Here we can also see where we identified on the um, head and neck picture, we have the brachiocephalic trunk, right? So brachiocephalic trunk. This split into the common carotid and the subclavian on the right-hand side but know that on the left-hand side, directly branching off of that aortic arch, we have the left subclavian and the left common carotid. They don't, you don't have a left brachiocephalic artery. So this is stuff that you might remember from when we did heart anatomy a couple weeks ago. So that's, they, once we get past the brachiocephalic trunk, we have a mirror image of these carotid and subclavian blood vessels. But just on the right side, there's a trunk that leads to those branches. All right, we also see our intercostal um, arteries here. They're really tiny. You might have to look at your picture because they're so small. They're just gonna be running along the bones of your ribs. So those are your intercostals. And then in our um, arm, we have the axillary. So this subclavian runs underneath the clavicle and it quickly just turns into the right axillary. And then the right axillary is gonna come down and it's gonna split into your brachial. Okay. Brachial artery. And then we have our um, radial and ulnar. So on the radial side, so here's your brachial artery coming down here and splitting into the radial artery and the ulnar artery. Okay, so brachial comes down, coming in from the axillary, brachial, radial, and ulnar arteries. Okay, I think that covers all the ones that are on your list. Let me just do a quick double check. Okay, I think that's it. Um, and then I'll move on to, we have some more pictures of um, kind of the chest and the abdomen coming up next.